It started. I'm not going to trip this time. All right, so transformations. There's four types. We have... Translation. Translations. What else? What do you want to write? Reflection. Reflection. Dilation. Okay. Reflection. Dilation. Translation. Rotation. Dilation. Rotation. Dilation. All right, good. Now, three of them are isometries. Okay, or rigid motions. What do we mean by that? They, they keep the shape the same size. size. Good. Same shot, same size, same shape. All right? The only one that does not do that is what? Dilation. dilation. Good. So dilation, we have enlargements or? Shrinkage. Reductions. <laughs> okay? Enlargements or reductions. Now, dilations do create similar figures, meaning that the angles are? Congruent, sides are proportionate. proportionate. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And we'll explore that later. All right, I know you guys plotted this. This is pretty easy. This is a translation. What does this mean here if it says x plus 2? That means you're adding 2 to the. You're going up 2. We're going up 2? Yeah. No, you're going to the left 2 and then positive. Mm. No, right, 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 two. right yes. 2 down. But it's positive. Right if it's yeah, positive, it's that positive. means. Right yes, or up? Oh, I'm never mind. I'm thinking back. It's okay. It's all right. I'm glad that we're talking about it. So in this case, all the easiest way, you just pick a point, move from there. All right, this is going to go to the right. One, two. Now what? Y minus six. You go down. So you down, down six. six. One, two, three, Negative four, four, five, six. Boom. Yes. Do that with all of them. One, two. One, two. Okay, boom. Now this is what? Up. Two to the right, one up two to the left. Shh, shh, shh. That's it. Okay. Was this A? Yeah. A, B, C, D. This is A prime, B prime, C prime, D prime. Okay. Now, what do we call this? The original. Pre-image. Pre-image, good. And we call this? Post-image. The image. Okay, so pre-image, image. That's it. Now, if they ask, actually, let me back up. I just want to show you that we can actually do this mathematically. So if I look here, these are our x's. Negative 5 plus 2 is what? Okay, and then 2 minus 6? Negative 4. Is that where a prime is? Yes. Yeah, you can do this with all of them mathematically, just so you know. So this is what? Negative 2, negative 2. This is what? 0, negative 2. And then D prime is going to be what? 1, negative 4. That's it. These are easy. All right? These are the fun ones. Yeah, these are easy. Oh, well, they're all fun. I want to show you this. If we have this going on and they ask you to write the rule, okay? What would you do? Well, we know this is what type of transformation? Ooh, be careful with that. This is a translation, very good, okay? Would it be to the right? Four. Okay. One, two, three, four. Just pick a point. Yeah, so we went to the right four, and then we go down three. Down three. So if they say write the algebraic rule for this, you're going to always start like that. Maps onto, you're going to do x plus four. Oh, I don't know what is that. And then what? Y minus three. Y minus three. And we're done. All right? Do I have to write that for me? No, it's, this is for you, so whatever you guys need to write, write, okay? Good question. All right, now, let's check this one out. You are visiting Washington, D.C. From the American History Museum, you walk five blocks east and one block south. Stop there, okay? We need to know directions. Hey, guys. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, honey. All right. Um... First of all, no 
north, south, east, west. Okay, you need to know that. Anybody know a way to remember it? Never eat soggy waffles. Okay, never, never soggy eat soggy, well, that S is weird. Never eat soggy waffles, what else? Never eat slimy worm. Why would you want to eat a worm in the first place? There's, there's never eat slimy. Sour watermelon. Sour watermelon. I heard Norton eats soggy waffles. Whatever. Who's Whatever. Norton? I don't know. That's what I said. Norton. Norton. Oh well. There's well, another word you can use for South Carolina. Okay. Well, let's. Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, you need to know directions. Okay. And here's the deal. It says from the American History Museum. That's where we're starting. So I'm gonna just. You can put it anywhere. I'm gonna choose to put it there. What is this American History Museum? Okay, it says you walk five blocks east, one, two, three, four, five, and one block south, boom, to the Air and Space Museum. Okay, then you walk eight blocks west. So now I'm going to go eight left to the Washington Monument. Where is the Washington Monument in relation to the American History Museum? Three, three blocks west and one block south. south. Good. Now, here's the deal. You're not going to say, well, first of all, let me back up. You need to know where you're starting from. It says, where is the Washington Monument in relation to this? So we are starting here. And exactly what Eric said, you're not going to say go three left. That's not real life. Okay, you're going to say three blocks west one block south. Okay? Awesome. Okay, we're done with translations now. We're going to move on to reflections. Now here's the deal. I just kind of kept this same triangle for a lot of these, so get ready. Mark, plot this please and thank you. We're going to start out with easy ones. Okay? If I ask you to reflect this, over the equation, not over the equation, let's start with, reflect this over the x-axis. So we know we're going to draw our triangle, then we need to do this. Okay, that is what we call our mirror line. This is easy. What are we going to do? Just, just fit. Absolutely. So this is one down, it'll be one up. Two down, two up. You're just making it positive on the white line. Actually, you're a step ahead of me, baby. That's awesome. There she is. All right. Yay! Okay, if they ask you to write an algebraic rule for this, this is what you're going to do. X comma Y maps. You need to examine all of the prime points. So A prime is at, oh, I didn't mark any of these. Sorry about that. What was this? A, B, C. Yeah, okay. Sorry about that. So this is B prime, C prime, A prime. All right, so A prime is where? Negative 5. Two. Two. two, B prime is negative, negative, two. negative two, positive one. And then C prime negative is negative three, three four. four. Okay. Here's what you have to ask yourself. And anytime they ask you to write the rule for something, you need to say what happened from here to here. Okay, this is our original, this is our new. We went up. Did anything change here with the X's? No. No. So what should I write next? X, X. X, perfect. Say the same. What happened here? Plus four. Ooh, you know what? You're right about that. But did we add four here? No. No. We just made it positive. We made it positive. Okay, that's actually a good way to look at it. Everything went opposite, right? So if I want to write that, I'm going to put that. Negative one. Okay, that means everything went opposite. So let's just say if this happened to be a positive 2, this would then be a negative 2. Alright? Good. Now, I don't want you guys to waste time memorizing these rules. There's two I want you to memorize, that's it. We'll talk about that in a minute. Okay? It's easier to just draw it out. 
Okay. Now what we're going to do is I would like you to reflect that same triangle over the equation x is equal to 1. So, we need to draw our mirror line. Mm -hmm. Would it be a positive one you draw right there instead? Like a okay, like this way? Yeah. Like horizontal? Okay, here's the deal. Yes, the x-axis is horizontal. But when you have this equation, x is equal to 1, it's something it a little different. Vertical. It goes vertical. It's actually going to be vertical. That means you're going to go here to 1. Okay, now let's think about that for a minute. What this is saying here is that no matter where y is, as a matter of fact, y goes all the way up to positive infinity, all the way down to negative infinity, but does that line shift left or right any? No. No, x is always at 1. That's why it looks like this. If the, line, if the equation said y is equal to 1, y, then it would be this way. Okay? Just so you know. So just be careful with those. Now, same type of thing, right? You all can do this in your sleep. Just count. This is 1, 2, 3, and another 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4. Is that it? Yeah, and then this is down one to the left. 3. I'll come by and you have to work, all right? But I don't have, I don't have. No, if you want to, I'll come by and just see if you have to work. Oh, there's something weird here. No, that's it. Okay. I'll just make sure it's not that good. All right, any questions? Okay. Now, we're going to move on. There are two formulas that I want you, or two rules, I should say, that I want you to memorize. Okay, they're written over here. Okay, one is the reflection over the line y is equal to x. Okay, so let's do this one first. The reason why I want you to memorize this just because it's, it's easier, trust me. So our rule looks like this. It's x comma y, and all you do is you flip these. Y, x. That's the first one so you're going to memorize. Negative, negative five. Exactly. Real quick, though, I want to talk about something before we go doing our switchy. Um, this equation right here, okay? We always think um, y is equal to mx plus b. Where B is what? The starting point. So, so is the line just that? Right now? Yeah. Oh, man. Okay. I'm only going to take some of them. Okay. I think it's about your. Uh, 